eh, ya más o menos. Bien, me parece. Ay, ya, gracias. <ríe> ¿Qué? No hay tu Michu, no. En este grupo es nueva, ¿verdad? No hay tu Michu. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Hay varios, varios nuevos que no conozco. Yo creo que de mi grupo anterior es solo una, creo que es una más. De ahí son de otro grupo. Tres. Sí, ajá, yo también. Para que no nos acostumbremos, creo. Nos cambia. Sí, cabal. Uh -huh. A ver cómo nos va en la clase, va. Ya lista. Tenemos que aprender. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, hey, good evening. evening. Ready, ready. Are you ready for your class? All right, teacher. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Can you guys tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we talk about? What topics do you remember? What can you tell me? The topic of uh, yesterday. Frequency or Oh. That's right. Adverbs of frequency. Can somebody give me one example of a sentence using the adverb of frequency? How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Very good. Uh, what is the difference if I say to you, uh, if I say to you the question, how often do you exercise? And do you exercise? Do you exercise? And the... how often do you exercise? What is the difference? The, uh, the use the verb to be. That is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, if I say to you, do you eat hamburgers? Do you eat hamburgers? Or, or how often do you eat hamburgers? What is the difference? Who can tell me what is the difference? What? The, la respuesta es que una es más larga que la otra. But that is correct. Uh, can you give me an example? For example, if I say, do you exercise? What is the response? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do, or negative, no, I don't. Very good. And what about if I ask you, how often do you exercise? I... I usually three times a week. Okay, very good. I... Usually, usually exercise, exercise three times three times a week. Very a good. Week. Or what about if I say to you, do you eat hamburgers? What is the response? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Or um, no, no, I don't. I don't. Okay. What about if I say to you, how often do you eat hamburgers? Twice a week. All right. I eat hamburgers twice a week. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Good. Any questions? Uh, in regards to this information right here? Questions in regards to using the adverbs of frequency? No, coach. 
No questions? Okay. All right. So what I would like for us to do is we're going to be practicing these questions. How often do you? I'm going to share with you these examples right here on the Zoom chat. Can everybody see? Can everybody see the questions on the Zoom chat? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Luis, I want you to ask the questions. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Hi. Who said I? Hi. Oh, Norma. Norma. Okay. okay. Norma, respond to the questions. Okay, Norma, do you exercise? Yes, I do. Uh, how often do you exercise? Um, yeah, if I usually I usually exercise two times a week. Okay, do you eat hamburger? Yes, I do. How often do you eat hamburger? Uh, last weekend? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, when he asks you the question, how often do you eat hamburgers? It's not the same. Uh -huh. it's, it's, weekend. Uh -huh. it's not the same as if you say, I ate hamburgers, okay? So it's a difference. Let me show you the difference. Let me share with you my screen. No, 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 wait a moment. So, eh, los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha una televisión fuerte por ahí. All right. So if I say to you, if I say to you, when was the last time you ate a hamburger? Right? Allí usted va a responder, I ate a hamburger last weekend. Right? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que te comiste una hamburguesa? Yo comí una hamburguesa la semana pasada. But if he says, how often do you eat hamburgers? Right? In this case, you can say, I eat hamburgers once. A uh, week. I eat hamburgers once a week. Teacher, I Hi. had a question. Yes. Uh, uh, no sé si, si es así o si no, corríjame. Cuando, cuando va a la H, si se pone an hamburger o solo a hamburger. Uh, hamburger, hamburger. Uh, yes, you always have to use the H. The letter H has two sounds. For example, if I say to you, a house, this is a consonant pronunciation. Consonant pronunciation, okay. a house. But if you say an hour, that is a vowel pronunciation, vowel. So we say an hour, a house, uh, a hamburger. Correct, correct. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir, of course. Continue. 
Continue. Norma? Okay. I eat, Continue I eat with a hamburger once a week. Okay, no, now switch, switch the roles. Norma Elizabeth ask the questions okay. and Jose Luis respond. Do you exercise? Yes, I do. How often do you exercise? Uh, I usually exercise three times a week. Do you eat hamburger? No, I don't. Oh, eat pause, pause, pause. Do no, we I... say hmm? do, la pronunciación es hamburgers o hamburgers? hamburgers. Hamburgers. Ajá. Ajá. Se tiene que se tiene que decir ham. 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 Like Helen. Helen. Ham. Yes. Hamburgers. Ham. Do you eat hamburger? No, I don't eat hamburger. <laughs> How often do you eat hamburger? Uh, I I eat tweets a week. Got money. That boy got money. <laughs> 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 All right, good job, Jose Luis. Uh, okay, Jose, Thank you. Jose, Jose Luis and Norma, please select another partner. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Select somebody else. Uh, Alba Luz. Alba Luz. Norma. Ana Yamilet Hernández. Ana Yamilet. All right. Alba Luz, ask the questions and Ana Yamilet respond. Eh, ¿Podemos cambiar las preguntas? No tienen que ser las mismas. Allí puse más en el grupo del chat. Okay, teacher. Um, I am question. Correct. You ask the questions. How do you visit the beach? All right. How often do you visit the beach? Or how often do you go to the beach? Okay. Uh, I go to the beach. Go to the I, beach. I go uh, usually in the beach uh, Okay, okay. Uh, pause right there. Pause right there. Right there. When I say, when you said, I go I. usually to the mm -hmm. beach. Okay. So in this case, we're going to say, I. I usually go to the beach once a week. I usually go to the beach once a week repeat once a week once a week very good i usually go to the beach once a week i usually go to the beach once a week no usually no you 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 usually you usually, uh -huh. usually. Like, like if you're saying you you usually usually Usually. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Ahí están las preguntas en el grupo del WhatsApp y en el grupo el chat del Zoom. Voy a verlas ahorita. Okay. Yes. 
Um, do you, eh, tendría que ser siempre con lo mismo que le consulté, ¿verdad? De la primera ecuación. Eh, correct. How often? How often? How, eh, no sé si puede ver las preguntas que compartí en el chat del Zoom o en el chat del WhatsApp. No sé si las yes. puede ver. Yes. Está how oh. often do you exercise? I usually oh. exercise three a week. Uh -huh. Do you eat hamburgers? Oh. Eh, do you, en este caso tendría que ser, do you eh, visitar la, la playa? Uh, puede, puede preguntar las que están de abajo. How often do you travel? How often do you wake up oh, in the middle oh, of the okay, night? Okay. How often do you go to church? Short? Church. How often church. do you go to church? Everybody listen and repeat. Church. 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 Right. So, se escucha el ch al inicio y ch al final. Dos veces. Church. church. How often do you go to church? Excellent. I visit the church every Sunday. Okay. In this case, do we say visit? Or do we say go? Okay. Go. Go. I I go the uh, church every Sunday. I go to church every Sunday. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Alba Luz. Excellent work. Uh, now, vice versa, uh, Anna Yami, let ask the question and Alba Luz respond. Okay. How often do you travel? Repeat, please. How often do you travel? And I travel to quit. Eh, la palabra often, la T no la pronunciamos. Repeat, please. Often. 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 How often? often. often. Mm -hmm. How Excellent. Often. Excellent. Okay. I, I, uh -huh. I usually do... To, to wait. Cada dos semanas. Yes. Okay, so we say I travel. I travel every two weeks. I travel every two weeks. Continue. Anna? Um, how often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Often or often? Often. often. No, often. 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 La T, la letra T, no la pronunciamos. Okay. Often. Of How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Excellent. Repeat, please. Middle. 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 Uh -huh. How often middle. do you wake up in the middle of the night? A medianoche. Medianoche. Mm. Si le comprendí, me pregunta que, que usualmente si yo me acuesto eh, a medianoche. 
No, 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 no. no. ¿Con qué frecuencia se levanta usted eh, en el transcurso de la noche? No sé, algo se lo entendí. Sí, sí. No, a mí me da risa porque a mí me pasa que las 12, la una, ahí estoy buscando una galleta o buscando un pedazo de chocolate. <risa> A medio dormiendo, eating chocolate. <laughs> um, I no never, I, I never. Um, Wake up? No sé si, nunca, nunca por las noches. Uh -huh. You say, I never wake, wake up, up in the middle of the I night. I never wake up. I never wake up in the middle I of the night. Okay. Pero en veces hasta tengo que esconder las galletas de mí mismo. I never wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Una gran tentación, teacher. Yeah, no sé por qué. Eh, siempre 12, una. Wake up. Get a cookie. Eat a cookie. Drink milk. Go to sleep. <laughs> like, ¿qué fue eso? And then I wake up in the morning. I got, I got picnic cookies over here, Oreo cookie wrap over here, and I'm like, <laughs> it's incredible. All right, good job. Uh, Alba and Anna, select the next participant, please. Alba, seleccione un compañero. Ana, seleccione un compañero. Edma, Azalía, Marina. All right, Edma, ask the question. Cristina Claribel. Okay. Eh, Cristina Claribel, respond to the question. Okay, ready? Yes. Action. Yes. How often do you go to the dentist? Oh, usually um, three times a year. A year. A year. Okay. How often do you go to the church? The church. 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 Uh -huh. church. church. Um, no. Mm, I heard. Um, never. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. How often do you go to the doctor? Um, usually, um, one year. Once a year. Once, once a year. Once a year. Okay. Once a year. Um, only uh, okay. Now change. Edma okay. asked the question, and I mean, Christina asked the question, Edma responds to the question. Okay, um, how well, often do you say I love you? To your parents? Um, I usually all days. Um, your all often your family practice es, your sport. Um, I don't understand. Eh, yo creo que dice, how often do you play sports? ¿Con ah, qué okay. frecuencia juega deportes? Yeah, yeah. I usually uh, one time or time a month. A month. Play sports. Okay. 
how often do you play sports? And then you say, um, I play, play sports sport once, once a month. Una vez al mes. Okay, good. Continue. Okay, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. All right, Thank excellent. You. Thank you, guys. So these are some examples, guys, of using the uh, how often. Now, at this moment, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next section, which is coming from section number 1.4, knowledge check on the platform. Instructions, read the following prompts. Choose the response in which the adverb in brackets is placed correctly. Instrucciones. Lea los siguientes puntos. Escoja la respuesta en donde los adverbios de frecuencia se encuentren en la posición correcta. You're going to have five minutes to complete the activity with your partners. You will have five minutes to complete the activity with your partners. Any questions? No, teacher. No, no. All right, okay. You can share your screen. One student can share your screen. Let's go. Eh, tiene que darle clic al botoncito que dice ingresar. Donde dice ingresar, ahí le tiene que dar. Creo que tiene que mandarnos, teacher. No, ah, ok. No le, no le he caído. No. Ok, ya lo mando otra vez. Alfa Luis. Three. Okay. Eh, Norma, lo vamos a poner on. Okay. For the Norma. Normal va a estar con Ok, ah, pues sí es el internet que le está fallando, por eso no la deja ingresar. Entonces trabaje aquí con Enrique, Emilio y Josía. Ok. Aerob do, you do you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often... Do you often do you aerobic at the gym? At the gym. Mm -hmm. A la opción dos. Luego dice no. I do I aerobic. En esa no, serie. I, I hardly ever I do aerobic. No, sería la otra. Do no I, I hardly ever do you no do aerobic. Es la opción tres. I hardly ever do aerobic. Sí. Luego dice. Sí, sí. El sujeto. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise on Sunday? Do you always? I always exercise. Always. 
Do you always exercise on Sunday? Sunday, la primera. Luego, no, I exercise. I never exercise on Sunday. Very young. No, I never exercise. Exercise on Sunday. La opción dos. What do you do after class? What do you usually do after class? What do you what do you do after class? Sería, what do you usually, usually do, do after, after class? After class. After after class. La, la primera, primera exacto. Mm -hmm. I, I go, go, I go out with, with my, my classmates. Sería, I, I go out with my classmates about three. Time a week. A week. Okay. La tercera, ¿verdad? Exacto, la tercera. Enviamos. Uh -huh. Ahí está, 50 puntos de 50. <risa> ok. Ya nos vamos. ¿Es everybody like finished? ¿Es everybody finished? Yes. Ok. Okay. Let's get it. Sun, Saturday morning. Nothing. All right, guys. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let me have the first participant. Let me have the first participant, uh, Norma Elizabeth. Read number one, please. Okay. Sorry. Casi no miro. Sería. Do you ever play sports? Very good. Do you ever play sports? Excellent. All right, Jenny, number two. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Excellent, sure, I play soccer twice a week. Number three, Josia. Josia, Alexiomar. Okay. Uh, Ed, present teacher. Oh, okay, go ahead and give me the number three, Josia. Hola. Uh, number three, please. Number three. Uh, what do you do on Saturday morning usually? Is it here? On Saturday morning. What do you usually do Saturday morning? Excellent. Fatima, what do you usually do on Saturday morning? Very good. All right. Thank you, Fatima. Correct. The next one. Number four, please. Jose Luis. Let me see, teacher. Number four, Jose Luis. Um, wait a minute, please, teacher. That's okay. You can see my screen. Uh, don't move it, teacher. I read. Okay, go ahead. Number four, nothing much. I sleep until noon. And the first, that's true. The first. Number four. Number four. Number four. Nothing much. I sleep. Nothing much. I was sleeping until now. Nothing much. I sleep until almost always noon. 
La teacher, la tercera para mí. No, recuerde que cuando el adverbio de frecuencia es más que una palabra, en este caso es almost always, casi siempre. So, uh -huh. cuando es más que una palabra, el adverbio de frecuencia va al final. Solo cuando es una palabra, va entre el sujeto y el verbo. ¿Cuál es la correcta respuesta? Nothing was I am um, always sleeping until now. No, no, no puede ir I almost always entre el sujeto y el verbo porque es más que una palabra. Solo si fuera always, sometimes, usually, never. Allí sí puede ir entre el sujeto y el verbo, pero aquí no porque son dos palabras. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? The number two. Number two. Esa me salió a mí. La plataforma. Yeah, really? a mí también. Mm. Nothing sí. much. I almost the, the second, the second example the in the platform is correct. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to report that because when it's two words, it goes at yes, the end. Uh, the first yeah. is the correct, ¿verdad? That's right, porque son dos palabras o más. Mm -hmm. Lo voy a reportar para que lo arreglen. Sorry about that. Okay, number five, uh, Edwin Alexander. Okay, yes. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? It's very good. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Often. Remember the letter T. Yes, often. Not often. pronounced. Often. Very good. Excellent. Uh, the next one, please. Jocelyn. Number six. Jocelyn. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay. El hardly ever es la excepción, es el único que sí puede ir entre el sujeto y el verbo. Es el único. All right. Why, no. coach? It's the exception. That's the only it's exception. That's okay. it. Uh -huh. It's the only one. There's no other that can go in between the subject and the verb. It's the only exception. Other than that, okay. If it's more than one words, it usually goes at the end of the sentence. Okay, coach. All right. The next one is Herbert. Seven. Bojorquez. Hello, teacher. Number seven, please. Uh, do you exercise on Sunday? Oh. And always exercise on Sunday. Very good. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Do you always exercise on Sundays? On Sunday. That's right. Because always is one word, so you can put it between the subject and the verb. Number eight, Cristina. <laughs> Is no, I never exercise on Sunday. No, I never exercise on Sunday. Aquí cerca donde yo vivo, los domingos hacen algo que se llama la ciclovía. Y yo salgo a caminar ahí. <laughs> Hacer exercise y después me como tres pupusas. Oh. <laughs> A hamburger coach. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> because, you know, I feel good. Oh, I'm exercising. But then, quack, 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 quack. Yeah, the... I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number nine. Okay. Number nine. Jose Enrique. No. 
Ana Yamilet. Okay, Jose Enrique. Who usually do after class? Very good. What do you do? do? Uh -huh. do after class. Okay, repeat after please. Re repeat please. Usually. 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 That's right. Like you. 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 Usually. 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 Uh -huh. you should. No, usually. 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 No, usually. That's right. That's right. Okay. Good. Usually. Good. Excellent. All right. Ana Yamilet, number 10. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Very good. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Let's check. Perfect. 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 Good. Okay, guys, at this moment, I'm going to uh, take the attendance. When I say your name, please uh, say present. Alba Luz. Present. Ana Yamilet. Present, teacher. Blanca Benavides. Present, teacher. Carlos Rivera. Carlos Rivera. Absent. Cristina Chavarria. Edma Marina. Present teacher. Edwin Hercules. Present teacher. Efraín Emilio. Efraín Emilio. En el Absent. chat. Oh, let me see. Uh, ah, okay. Emilio Acevedo. Right. Acevedo present. Okay. Yeah. The next one is Fatima Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. Fatima Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Herbert Bojurkes. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Isaura Vasquez. Isaura Vasquez. Absent. Josia Mejia. Present teacher, present. Excellent. Jonathan Flores. Jonathan Flores, absent. George Alberto. Here I am teacher, thank you. Excellent. Jose Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Castro. Over here, teacher. Okay. Maria Morataya. Present, teacher. Okay. Nelson Seron. Nelson Seron. En el chat dijo present. Ah, okay. Present, okay, excellent. Present. Norma Callejas. Present. Thank you. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Morales. 
en el chat de WhatsApp. Que saber. ¿Quién? El novio Morales. Okay. En WhatsApp dijo que estaba enferma. Ok, thank you. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Okay. Sylvia Melara. Present teacher. Susanna Isabel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Yancy Montes. Present. Okay. Jenny Ardon. Present, teacher. Excellent. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present, teacher. Very good. All right, good job, guys. Let's continue. So, for the next activity, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be taking a look at the next section. For the next section, we're going to be going to 1.5, sounds natural when speaking. Intonations with direct pronunciation. Listen, please. To listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation. All right, listen and repeat. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. So basically, notice the intonation when you go to the name, you have a comma. So you pause, and then the name, the intonation is down, right? You see the comma, you pause, then the intonation is down. So what you're going to do for this activity is you're going to record yourself, se van a grabar, using the software bocaru.com. I'm going to share with you the link, bocaru.com. ¿Han usado bocaru.com anteriormente? Yes. Ok. Yes. Para, no. Los que, no. Para, para los que no lo han usado, lo voy a compartir en el grupo right now. En el grupo del chat. So, usted se va a ir a bocaru y usted se va a grabar. Así como lo estoy. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Sí. Okay. Yes, teacher. So, yeah. ya les mandé el link en el grupo del WhatsApp, so usted le va a dar acá donde dice record, va a decir allow, para que le dé acceso al micrófono, allow, y se va a grabar. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Y de allí va a poner stop. De allí va a ir donde dice Save and Share. Le va a dar clic. Y acá donde dice Copiar Enlace, va a copiar el enlace. 
y va a ir a la plataforma. Y aquí donde dice añade una publicación, va a poner título y va a poner intonation. Intonation. Y ahí usted va a pegar la grabación y va a poner enviar. Y después nos va a aparecer aquí la grabación. Le damos clic. Le damos al link que copió. Y allí se escucha la grabación. Y se va a grabar. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Y de allí va a poner stop. Any questions? No questions. No. Okay. Eso va a ser tarea. That's going to be your homework. Now, we're going to go to the next section. How and short answers. Fitness freak, listen, please. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. At this moment, does anybody have any well, questions in regards to the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of the words in the vocabulary? Questions, questions. Anybody? Freak is as como loco. Yeah, yeah. Un loco de fitness. Fitness freak. 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 Fitness freak. Another question? Shape. Repeat. Shape. Shape. Hold on. Let's see. Shape. Give me one second. Shape. Where is that? Where is that word? Keith, Keith. Teacher. Huh? I Keith. Think the, I think she said in the first uh, sentence. Oh, shape. 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 Yeah. In forma. Mm -hmm. In forma. You're in great shape, Keith. Estás en buena forma, Keith. Está en, en shape, está en fitness. Está saludable. Another question? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Um, what is the meaning of field tips? Oh, tips, a few tips. Un par de tips, un par de consejos, un par de eh, ajá, consejos para jugar mejor. Tips. Y tips también se puede usar como para propinas. Un tip, una propina. Tiene dos significados. En este caso es como que consejos o estrategias para jugar bien. Teacher. Hi. And in the sentence, um, say Ruth, oh, how well do you play? Means, uh, ¿qué tan bueno eres para jugar? That is correct. How well do you play? ¿Qué tan bien juegas? Correct. Okay. ¿Quieres preguntar qué tan bien cocinas? How well do you cook? Teacher, huh? I have a question. Yes, of course. Uh, with respect, adverb frequency is the same or only use uh, how often or how usually too? No, only how often. Uh, only how often. Okay. How usually does not exist. Another question. All right, now what I would like for us to do is we're going to work in pairs and we're going to practice the conversation. Vamos a trabajar en pareja y vamos a practicar la conversación. Ready? All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Pueden compartir su pantalla. Tiene que darle donde dice join o entrar o ingresar. Eh, Norma, ¿puede trabajar con José Enrique, Ever, okay. Emiliano y Josía y Jenny? Ok. No. No es esa. Hola. No es esa, no es esa la conversación. Esa. Eh, eh, esa. Tiene que ingresar a la plataforma. Pero sí, es esa. Esa, I am real fitness freak. ¿No tiene acceso a la plataforma? Sí, es la plataforma. ¿No tiene acceso a donde está eh, la conversación en el video? Pero sí, es esa. Eh, ah, ok. Aunque no es en la plataforma, pero es esa conversación. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Ok, chicas. Eh, comenzamos. Si gustan, puedo, podemos hacerlo uh, primero una pareja y luego la otra. Uh -huh. Puedo hacerlo yo. ¿Quién, eh, puedo ser Ruth. ¿Quién, ¿Quién sería Kate? Ok, yo contesto. Ok. Eh, you're in great shape, Kate. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How oh, often do you wear out? Well, I do aerobics three trees a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Ah. Uh. How well do you play? 
pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I, I'll give you a few tips. Ok. Ahora, si gusta, um, la otra chica puede preguntar y yo puedo contestar. Ok. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're in great shape, Kate. Kate. Thanks, I guess. I'm a really fitness freak. How often, often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. Okay, chicas. Si gustan, ahora pueden preguntarse entre las dos, porque yo ya, ya lo hice con ambas. Ok, entonces yo empiezo ahora con, 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 con la muchacha que acaba de preguntar. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Where are I? Right? But I not very good. No problem. It'll give you a few tips. Okay. Okay, chicas, okay. Ahí la llevamos, ¿verdad? <laughs> bueno, bueno. Por lo menos hasta el momento no ha aparecido ningún demonio invocado en mi casa. <laughs> Eso estuvo buena. Yo creí, así como yo creyendo que estoy pronunciando realmente. Un Por lo menos esa es una buena señal. Sí. Bueno, pues aquí no va ninguna ni cayendo cosas, entonces quiere decir que tampoco. Sí, un gusto. Un placer, chicas. Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Know. It's time to go. It's time to go. Sí, See sí, you una tomorrow. Pregunta. Antes que corte, eh, siempre se va a descansar los días viernes. All right. That is correct. Okay, yes. thanks. Okay. Um, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. See okay. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.